Hi, in this video, I am going to apply the concept of electromagnetic induction or EM induction in solving one of the past year questions in IGCSA physics. So in this video, I am going to solve May, June 2022, paper 41, question number eight with the code of 0625. If this is the first time you're watching this video, then I'll strongly suggest you to watch this video first before dive into this video because the, the first video that I introduced here here is actually discussing on the concept of electromagnetic induction with some simple experiments together with the virtual experiment to make you understand better. Now, let's look at a question. Figure 8.1 shows two vertical cylindrical tubes and a cylindrical magnet all held in vacuum. Now, this is the first clue given by the question A vacuum, meaning to say that there is no air particles, therefore there's no air resistance acting on the cylindrical magnet, nor copper wire, nor plastic tube. So one tube is made of plastic and the other tube is made of copper. Mm, one is conductor, the other one is insulator. Another hint here. The two cylindrical tubes have identical dimensions. The magnetic field of the small cylindrical magnet is extremely strong. Even though it's a small, it has a very strong magnetic field strength. Initially, the magnet is at rest. I love to put this, U equal to zero. That means the magnet is not moving at the top of the plastic tube first. And the magnet is released, let it go, and it falls through the plastic tube without experiencing a resistive force. Magnet takes 0 0.67 seconds to fall to the lower end of the plastic tube. Such a long statement with a lot of information here. Now, let us dive into the question A. The mass of the magnet is 0 0.012 kilogram. Calculate the kinetic energy of the magnet when it reaches the lower end of the plastic tube. Now, when it asks us to calculate the kinetic energy, please always try to write down the equation of the kinetic energy. Ek is equal to half mv squared, where m represents the mass of the magnet. V represents the speed of the magnet. In this case, it's the final speed of the magnet because the initial speed of the magnet is zero. Remember, magnet is not moving initially. So I have a problem with that V because it seems like based on the information given here, there is no V given. So I'm going to use one of the straight line equation here, which is related to acceleration. A is defined as V minus U over T, the rate of change of velocity. But in this case, because the magnet is being released, downwards, going downwards. So I'm going to change that A to the gravitational acceleration. I'm going to convert this A to G because the magnet is moving downwards. So the acceleration experiences by the magnet is gravitational acceleration, which is equal to V minus U over T. So V is 9.8. Since 2023, they have already changed the value of G from 10 to 9.8. But if you check from the mark scheme, because this is May June 2022 paper, so the mark scheme still put it as 10, but I am going to use the new G values here. So V, I'm going to find V minus zero because U is equal to zero and T is 0 0.67. So V is equal to 9.8 times 0 0.67 and let your calculator do the job. So the V that I got was 6.57 meter per second. Now, since I have all the information that I needed, all I need to do is just to sub in. Half the mass is given as 0 0.012 kilogram and V is 6.57. You just need to square it. Let the calculator do the job. Now I got 0 0.259 joules. So bear in mind, so since this is my answer, you can put your final answer in terms of two significant figures to three significant figures. So you can put it as 0 0.26 joules or 0 0.259 joules. I put it as 0 0.259 joules. There goes your four months. Now, the next question. B, the magnet is then held at the top of a copper tube. Now change, yeah, put it on top of the copper tube and release. As it falls through the copper tube, an electric current is generated in the copper. 
Explain why that is a current in the copper. Remember, copper is a conductor. So when the magnet falls in the copper, the magnetic field of the magnet is being cut by the conductor. The cutting of magnetic field produces the change in the magnetic field of the magnet, which eventually induces current in the copper. So the answer is magnetic field of the magnet being cut by the copper. So of course you can't see the magnetic field of the magnet because it is invisible, which causes a change in the magnetic field of the magnet. So a change in the magnetic field of the magnet will induce the current in the copper. So there goes your two marks. Now feel free to pause the video if you want to copy the answer. Second, the current in the copper produces a magnetic field of its own in the tube. The magnet falls much more slower in the copper tube than in the plastic tube. Explain why the magnet falls more slowly in the copper tube. Now, from the video that I introduced just now, at the starting of the slide, I did explain this because the EMF is being induced in the copper because there's a current in the copper due to the changing of magnetic field of the magnet. Therefore, the electromotive force is being induced. Electromotive force is a voltage. So when a voltage is being induced or the current is being induced in the copper, right? Copper has its own magnetic field lines. And this EMF induced always try to oppose the change in the magnetic field. Now, what is this? Sounds confusing, right? No worries. This is the explanation. The change in the magnetic field, because the magnet is falling downwards, remember? So therefore, the change in the magnetic field is in downwards direction. Ah, so the EMF induced in the copper trying to oppose that. You come down, I try to push you up. Try to oppose the motion of the magnet. Ah, so therefore, that is a magnetic force acting upwards, trying to oppose it due to the opposing force acting on the magnet. Magnet falls more slowly in the copper tube. That's the reason. So that's all for the past question discussed here. So if you have more questions or more confusing questions that you want me to discuss, past your question, please do comment below. And do subscribe to my YouTube channel yeah, for a better understanding of physics by applying some simple tips that I shared. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video.